welcome to my uh, 31st, I think it is, 31st, 32nd episode. Uh, it is February the 28th of 2021. Yes. My God, two days, no, two months has already passed. We're heading straight into March and time just flies by. I cannot believe it. We are getting very close to that one year ago where everything went wrong. Alas, well, um, I have actually sticked to my stitching plan uh, for February and I'm very surprised that I did. Uh, but we're going to get into that and we're going to get into the coming months plan. Um, and another great thing for the channel is that I have more than 1000 subscribers. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys, you are just amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm very grateful. And uh, as always, I love to share my gratitude with you. So hang in there and we'll talk about celebrating my 1000 together. Um, I have no haul, unfortunately. Uh, so if you like hauls, this is not the video for you, unfortunately. Yeah, I already said, unfortunately. Um, so uh, let's grab my calendar, my, my planner, 2021 planner, which I like very much. And this is um, my stitching for February, February. <laughs> And there are a few days where I didn't stitch. I was uh, very tired and unmotivated. So I was just hanging in the couch uh, with my daughter watching some TV. So yeah, we all need some of those days. However, uh, let's start with Whipgo for February. February. <laughs> it was the number 20 and number four that was uh, drawn or called. And uh, for me, that meant that I was going to stitch on 101 uh, alphabets by Rose Mo Rosewood Manor and on my Mirabilia. So that is what I started out with this month with. Um, and my goal is usually like five days of stitching. So, and I reached five days on all of them. I stitched six days on Mirabilia, but it's just, I usually stitch on them um, on weekdays. So it's just a few hours every day. Uh, so it's not that I have, you know, the greatest progress. But I started stitching on Mira, Lady of Mystery. And I'm stitching her, I'm using my um, Omnic scroll frame and I have a hand dyed fabric um, from Crafty Kitten I think it is and it is a 28 count I don't think it's linen I actually think it's even weave but I'm not sure but it is 28 count and this is my progress so far on her and I'm beating as I go. There are some beads here. I was hoping that, yeah, there the light catches the, the beads. So there's a little bit of beading, not too bad, uh, but they're very, um, the beads are very scattered in this, in this design. So it takes a little bit more time 
that I like. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm I'm stitching from the middle is around here somewhere, and I've sti stitched up to where her arm and body, the skin starts, and then I just went down. And there's going to be a lot of uh, dress down here. So I will do that first before I get to the skin. So what else should I say about her? Um, I thought it was going to be red, but she's very pink. So that was a little bit of a surprise. Um, there are no Krennic in the Lady of Mystery, but there is some uh, water lilies to difference and I love stitching with those. Otherwise it is DMC and there is a few blends, uh, but I enjoy that as well. So I stitch five days a little bit every day. I'm sorry, but oh, every, every day a little bit for six days. And what, how I store, I just wanted to, since I don't have any hole or anything, I didn't know, well, I like to talk when I do my floss tubes. So I just thought that I'm going to show you how I store the materials and threads that I'm using. So this is for uh, my Mirabilia. I, I've used this with the other ones as well. I think it's a small, nice, box and I yes I do bobbinate these um, and there's not so many colors like in for example in my um, portrait of Veronica there was a lot more different colors and here's the extra skeins of colors and this is also where I used um, where I store the the blends where I have two different um, threads and I put I put them on on these uh, it's like you use them when you're knitting and crocheting so yeah and uh, I have my marker because I use a paper pattern I take a working copy of my Mirabilia and then I store the beads in these Doris containers and there is only three different uh, beads in there so that's why I keep them in here and then I have like uh, which which bead it is in there so I know so I'm not picking the wrong one um, and for the beads I use um, I don't know if it's gonna focus but I use invisible thread uh, if you I, I really like invisible thread. It is an invisible. You don't see it. Um, but if you make a mistake, it's pain in the ass. Yeah. And then I have bought this tacky bob, which is sticky, which I like to use. Otherwise I have somewhere a homemade one. So you don't have to buy this. I think there are I don't think they're easy to come by anymore, actually. So that's how I do with the Mirabilia. Uh, and I hope to finish her within the year. That's the goal. So that was the first whip go that was called. The other one was 101 alphabets. And I have it here I think so I have it in my plastic bag here so it's gonna be a little bit of crinkling and if you don't know how the project looks, this is how the 101 alphabets looks. There's 101 different alphabets. I'm enjoying this very much. I could totally lose myself in it. And I have taken like uh, working copies 
of the pages I'm stitching in. My goal for the year is to finish two pages, which won't be any problem because it goes pretty fast. So I store it within a plastic bag, within a pillowcase. I just do that. And this is stitched on uh, 36 linen. And it is an Edinburgh, Edinburgh soft ivory swagert linen. It's, uh, it's a very nice linen to stitch on. And I'm stitching it with DMC threads, two over two. And the coverage is really nice. So this is the progress I have. And I think I did pretty well for just the five days of stitching. So this, uh, this uh, alphabet is difficult to see. It. It's not so, it's a very light color. It's very nice and I'm, I'm pretty happy about the backside. I'm trying not to run any threads or what you call it, uh, travel. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm trying not to jump around too much. So that's that. It's gonna be a huge piece. And I'm really looking forward to the next time it's gonna be cold. So uh, this one won't be finished this year, uh, but if I continue with WhipGo, it will definitely go on my next whip go board for 2022 yes i'm already thinking about 2022 um so i'm not stitching this on a scroll frame i'm using q snaps um and i have my dmc threads in the these uh floss away bags on a ring and I really like this system. Um, and the pattern, it's, it's a very nice pattern. It's like a whole booklet. So it's really nice. I mean, it's just, it has only been two months, uh, but for in January, I felt like stitching a little bit on it. So I just pulled it out um, and stitched for a couple of hours. So I might do that, you never know. Just, so that's how I store it. And that's the system with the floss way bags. Um, so those were the whip goes. Um, that's uh, I really enjoy the whip go. It's a very fun way to get get some variety and get some progress. Um, so what else? What? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, in the beginning of the month, I was stitching on my Anne Morrison cell. Um, so you stitch a little bit every every month. And I finished that pretty fast as well. Um, this is stitched on a 45 count linen. And it is a Jersey cream linen. It's very small. So I need a lot of light when I stitch on this. So I finished the February part. So you see it's going to be pretty small. Let's see. So you can get it in the center like that. 
and the February February part was these two uh, samplers of letters and I don't know why but I was uh, I was struggling with the letters actually I don't know why um, so yeah <laughs> the thread is very thin I'm stitching it with the soy 103 these ones and they're already on spools so I just keep them like this um, and the pattern is the hands across the sea samplers in a cooperation with traditional stitches and they're I think it is the 20 year anniversary I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I, I said 25 first but I think it's like 10 or 15 or 20 it's an anniversary sampler and it's really nice it's a Scottish sampler so if it's great because I'm like all crazy about the Outlander stuff now so it's very nice that it's Scottish and the next part will also be um, these two rows of alphabets and numbers so and then in April we're gonna start with the Algerian eyelet letters no that's not that that's another one actually but a little bit more uh, complicated or advanced stitching I don't know um, so we'll see but that's also I stitched a little bit on that so and now we're getting to a new month so it's time to plan out but I won't have to plan that much because we're get we're getting to the whip go for March god I'm rambling a little bit I was trying to keep it like um, in order so the Whipco, Mirabilia, and the 101 alphabets, and then I stitch on Anne Morrison, the February part of the cell. Yes. So what I'm looking at now is just the planner, so I know what I'm gonna talk about, what I've been stitching, and then I started stitching on softest steel. And That is just background and it's it's easy stitching but I get a little bit bored so it's not nothing I'm like jumping into right away so it's a big piece it's in heaven and earth softest steel by Julie Bell so I will just start with showing you that I all, almost have a page finish finish here now and the year goal is two pages or the 21,000 stitches in 21. Um, so, so that's what I've been stitching. stitching. And all, what you see here is a lot of threads and ending threads. And I will just stitch them in and cut the ends when I get there. But the whole piece, so she's kind of half naked. So if you don't like the nakedness, just look away or move, uh, you know, play forward a little bit. But this is the whole piece, my whole progress. And I have like 27 or 28% done. And it's mostly just background. I know that there is, there is like a big flag coming here. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's stitched on uh, 25 count even weave I'm gritting it with some fish line one page at a time and this piece is the piece where I dropped I dropped a pair of scissors a very sharp pair of scissors right here 
before I had stitched. So with a little bit of glue and some fabric beneath behind, I stitched stitched it in and that is why I ended up with stitching all of her first. So but you know it was just a hole. It was like repairable. So, um, so that's my biggest heaven and earth with the most progress I have. And I really want to finish that page and finish the next one above because then I'm up in the top left corner. And somehow that just feels like a big achievement for me because I've been thinking about it for quite some time. So we're wor working towards that. Um, and how I'm using the scroll frames, the millennium frames on her. And I'm using one of these um, boxes with the threads and it's DMC and they're just bobbinated like this. And when I started the whole box was full of threads but since you're using uh, using the threads you know you have to rearrange the threads but that's that nothing fancy but it's very for me this works pretty well um so that's that and yes how many stitches did i get to do i made 2323 stitches on softest steel and I have just stitched like six, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six evenings after work. So, but I put in the necessary amount of stitches for the 21,000 to be able to reach, reach that. So, uh, for now I have stitched, you know, since January, I've stitched 4,499 stitches. Um, yeah. And then one Sunday, I felt like stitching a little bit more on my mini Dragon in the Morning by Randall Spangler. Um, it's also a Heaven and Earth, Earth design. It's also stitched on 25 count. I'm 10 stitching this with two threads over one. I don't know if you can see the very, if there's a lot of difference between two over one 10 stitch or one over one full cross. I don't know. I don't see that much difference. And I'm trying to parking diagonally it feels a bit weird but it's quite okay I guess and you can see it's not going to be that big and I'm using the scroll frames on it um, so I stitched on it one Sunday and I got to stitch 1056 stitches on this and uh, that's quite okay actually I'm enjoying Spangler a lot. I love the colors. And if you want to try something fun and if you're new, I would definitely recommend a mini by Randall Spangler for sure. The dragons are really a joy to stitch. And you could see that the fabric was pre-gridded, which is very easy to follow, especially if you have the Pattern Keeper app. Um, the stitching is just very easy. And I have another way of storing the threads for the mini. Um, I have it here in a plastic bag and I'm using these organizers for those. I have two of them where I have keep the the threads and I've just drawn in the symbols. No, not the symbol. I've written the number of the thread. And then I have like a thread pack from Heaven and Earth with all the threads needed. 
so that's how I keep this one. So I have, I, I try out different stuff. Whoops. Yeah, so those were the heaven and earths. Um, and then what? Um, I think I only have my shadow lane left, right? Yeah. And that is the piece I'm enjoying so much. Oh my God. You're gonna die right now. You're gonna die. Just. It's huge. So I stitch on this on weekends where I have a lot of stitching hours. And this is my progress. And I usually take a little bit of close up pictures and put out on Instagram and on the um, Facebook group. Woo. I mean, this is just, uh, it's too big to show me and this. But it's, uh, it's really, really uh, beautiful. And uh, now it's so big, uh, so I can't stitch all the way around. So I have to finish this part and then I need to move the rods and stitch the other, unfortunately, because I like to finish each section before I continue to the next. So. Um, I'm stitching, yeah, I'm working on this outer part at the moment and I just finished some satin, satin stitches. Um, and then here where there is a lot of white, here there's going to be a lot of different rice stitches. Uh, and they have a very special look to, to them and so I'm really looking forward to do that. Um, so when I've done the right stitches and put in, there is going to be some, some beads around here, of course. Uh, then I'm done with that side and then I'm going to move the squirrels. I don't know if you can see the back stitching and there, there is so much glitter and I'm trying to get the lamb to catch. The lights in the crystals is just really amazing. But when I'm done with this outer border, it's time for the, the, the first flowers, the belladonna flowers. And then I'm getting to the gates. It's uh, really, really enjoyable. Um, at, at first, I was a little bit intimidated by the, um, the instructions and stuff but as I went on and kind of looked at some pictures and I understood still I, I understand it better and right now the poison garden doesn't feel that difficult I don't think I've said too much there but I think there are some of the designs with a little bit of more challenging threads and stuff I'm not sure but so I stitched every weekend on the shadow lane and that is why I get a lot of done and I bead as I go. So I do the cross stitching. I do uh, the special stitches and then I do the, uh, the back stitching and then I put in the beads and I move on. Um, so again, you, when you get the kit from European Cross, European Cross Stitching Company, they send all the threads in fossil way bags. So that's what I'm using and they put it on one. I don't know if it's the big ring or a small ring. I don't remember, but I've just uh, put the DMCs on the big ring and then I have like a ring with few of the odd threads and I have a ring with all the water lily threads and one with the, uh, the um, 
petite treasure braid and, and such. So this works very well for me. And then you have quite a lot of beads and there is, that's where I use my Doris. I have two of these, but this is the one I have for my Chatelaine. And this is where I just, I just put the, um, I think they're so nice, the small tubes. So I like to keep them in there. And I use the invisible thread for that as well. And I have printed out the instructions. Um, so I have a picture of how the, um, the design is going to look. And then I have the material list printed out. And what I did is, I think it was Stitch All The Things, the, the YouTube channel who has done like this. Uh, she had, well, then I have kind of highlighted with a yellow pen, uh, the name, um, the color name and the color number for the DMCs has the yellow and then I know that and then the next is um, it is uh, I think it's treasure braid so I, I made them green there and the numbers out there are green and so on just to get kind of a systems so I can see which belongs to which I think it is working fine um, then I printed out the instructions and I started at the top, of course, uh, or it's not of course, for me it is of course. And when I have finished like the first special T stitches was to stitch with the road stitches with the Gloriana. And then I just highlight that. So I know that this is at least done or what it, that's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, so I don't get confused to, if I would put this away for a while, then I would know where in the instructions I would be, but I don't think I'm going to put the, put it away, but just in case you never know. So that's how I organized the shuttle lane and the instructions of stitching the specialty stitches is really fine. And there's a lot of YouTube videos out there. Uh, there's only one specialty stitch I have had real trouble finding out how to stitch. I don't see any videos or anything. So I'm not even sure if I'm doing it the right way. And that was a woven stitch. And first it sounds like you should stitch it like a basket weave, but it's not. So I just tried to do as best as I could. And I think it's going, it's fine. So that's February, February. Next month, <clears throat> the whip go was called. And it was number 10 and number 24. And number 10 is Anne Morrison, the cell I'm in. So I'm going to start out with her and I've set aside five days. I have already planned out what I'm going to stitch. I'm, I'm going to try differently this, this month. I'm going to give, give each of the focus projects. That's the number 10 and Morrison number 24 is dogs last will and testament. Yay. And, uh, heaven and earth, my softest steel and my Chatelaine. Those are like the four focus pieces for the month. So I've try, I'm trying to give them five days for the whole month each. Um, and at least one day in the weekend where I get a lot of stitching done. And then Fridays I've set off for my, my Mirabilia because I want to get a little bit of progress every month. And then Saturdays is for my Chatelaine. 
So that's a bit unfair. I should pick something else, but yeah, that's how, how I'm going to roll with it. So the first week I'm doing Ann Morrison and there's not so much to stitch. So I usually don't need five days of stitching to finish, you know, this month's uh, part of the cell. So I'm actually considering if I finish that within, you know, be earlier than what I have planned out, I think I might just continue a little bit ahead in the cell. Uh, so I don't have to spend that time later on. So that's the plan. Uh, and then, yeah, the 100, no, um, the dog's last will and test testimony, testament. It is, I can show you the progress I have already. Let's see where, which is the front and which is the back. Yeah, this is the one. It's stitched on uh, XU Designs uh, hand dyed fabric. It's linen. Uh, I don't remember which count it is. But this is it. This is the top up here. And I think I'm going to get quite a lot done, done on this. Um, let's see if I can find. So it's in plastic. So this is how it looks. It's just a lot of text, but the text, what it says, whoops, it's upside down. <laughs> whoops. Uh, what it says is, oh, it's just heartbreaking. I mean, if you love dogs, you will love this one. It's just like <clears throat> before humans die, they write their last will and testament. Um, what does it say? Before humans die, they write their last will and testament. Give their home and all they have to those they leave behind. If with my paws, I could do the same, this is what I'd ask. And then it continues. And then I cry because I think of my dogs. And I have those adopted dogs who nobody wanted. So, um, back to business. Yes. So soft as steel. Uh, so my God, my, my mind is all over the place. First week and Morrison second week, the dog's last will and testimony testament. And I think I'm going to get a lot of done on that because I think I stitched that pretty fast. So I'm hoping I get some of that. The goal is to finish the dogs will this year. So I, I'm hoping I will be able to do that. The third week I'm, I'm going to stitch soft as steel. And that's like for four days, Monday to Thursday, and then Friday, Mirabilia, Saturday, Chatelaine, and Sunday, give some love to soft as steel. I hope I will manage the at least 2000 stitches. And then a whole week for Chatelaine, Maybe that's too much because I don't want to finish it too fast. I think it's going pretty fast and I haven't gotten any of the other Chatelaine uh, kits I've ordered yet. So I want, I would like to get at least one of them before I finish so I can, you know, just kit up and continue the nice stuff. But okay, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, th those are the plans. I'm rambling, you know me. And uh, about that, celebrating the 1000 subscribers. Here we go. So you know me, I love to give back to all of you. Um, I would like to give a lot back, but since uh, my work situation isn't the same as it was, I can't give you all the things, but I am going to have 
a giveaway. Yes, I am going to have a giveaway to say thank you to all you guys out there. I wish I could give you all something, but I can't. But I will give away two patterns this time for celebrating 1,000 subscribers. Yay, I'm so happy. I'm so thankful, really. Uh, one pattern will be a heaven and earth because we love heaven and earth. So, um, and it can be any heaven and earth design that you want. There's minis, there's quick stitches. This is a mini. You have the super sized, you have the regulars, you have the max colors, you have the expanded colors, you have the beginner pieces, you have it all, I promise. And you have a story keep as well, which is really nice. Um, so one of those, and I'm giving away a mirabilia pattern as well. This is not an out of print pattern or anything, but I happen to have two of these and for the justice, considering what has been going on in the States lately, I think this is a pretty nice pattern. And also, as I say, for me, this represents the justice for animals, children and women. So um, I'm giving this one away and it's open worldwide. I don't mind shipping to anyone, anywhere. Uh, the thing is, first you need to be 18 because you are going to give me your uh, address. If you're not 18, um, please ask your mom to join the giveaway or contact me in somehow saying it's okay that my boy or girl uh, joins. Uh, the, the giveaway. Uh, you need to be 18. You need to be a subscriber to my channel, of course, because that is what I'm celebrating. And I am going to look if you are subscribing to my channel. So make sure that it shows at least for the time being when we have the giveaway. I have a form uh, just in the description, which I would like you to fill in if you want to join the giveaway. Uh, it's a little bit for a safety for me, uh, so I'm not going to be, uh, you know, fooled by anyone who shouldn't, you know, be in the giveaway. Uh, and don't write giveaway in your comments. For the heaven and earth design, write H-A-E-D, hate. Um, and for the mirable, yeah, Write, write Mirabilia, okay? And I will use a co comment random picker, the usually program we use for picking out the winners. And I'm thinking, is it something else that I have forgotten? hate or mirabilia in the comments, 18 years, fill out the form, subscribe to my channel. Now, before when I did giveaways, I was doing a floss tube every week. So the giveaway usually just lasted until the next time I made a floss tube. But now I'm, for now, I'm just doing it once a month, once a month. So I'm thinking Maybe a month is a little bit too long to have a giveaway to celebrate 1,000 subscribers. So let's look in the planner. I'm saying that on the 12th of March, on the 12th of March, that's like in two weeks, I will announce the two winners for the heaven and earth design uh, pattern and the mirabilia. All right, I will write it in my planner. Announce winners. So then it won't be like a floss too. We will just be an announcing the winners. I wrote it there. 
on the 12th of March. Yes. So join up. Um, if you're joining the giveaway, uh, make sure you hit that bell so you know when I'm releasing uh, the, the video, the next video. Um, yeah. Um, oh, yes, of course. So uh, if you want to support me, uh, I've, add, I've added down here in the description as well a little a link if you would like to buy me a cup of coffee. I love coffee, so you like to buy me a cup of coffee coffee to support my channel i would appreciate that uh i would put that money back into the channel and you know i didn't have any haul so you know get the haul whatever yes you know the thing and uh if you want to de-stash or if you have anything you would like to you know, for me to, to give away to you guys out there. Um, just, I have the email down below, just mail me and we can have a conversation about it. Uh, but also subscribe to the channel, give me some thumbs up, hit the bell. That's a great support as well. And once, uh, I get some advertising going, just let them roll, you know, and that's, a great way of supporting me. So to all of you who's subscribed, mwah, 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 thank you very much. And to all the new ones, welcome. Follow me on Instagram. That's uh, Ronya76 uh, on Instagram, where you can see a little bit more of what I do on a ba daily basis. So I hope you guys have had a great month. I hope your March will be awesome. It feels like spring is here in Sweden. It's just amazing. And let's stop talking. Let's get back to stitching. Sunday is not finished yet. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.